Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? Today's video is gonna be on this brand new Treant Token Druid deck. Now, this deck is an absolute powerhouse, all thanks to the new Arbor Up card. This card is absolutely nutty because it's kind of like Savage Roar, but it's also a permanent buff card as well, too. So if you have a board full of minions, you get that permanent buff. Even if you don't have a board full of minions, you still get that two, four, three treants, bare minimum. And then you can combine this card with other treant synergies that we already have, like Runic Carvings or Force of Nature and then Aeroponics. So yeah, you wanna be ramping up to as much mana as you can, so that way you can start comboing off with all these things, make a sticky board with like Soul of the Forest, and on the following turn, push for lethal with the Arbor up or just make a really, really big board. You can even do a Solar Eclipse with Arbor up if you really wanna do some pretty busted things. And I do also have a couple of Gibberlings in here too. I don't want any more mini than just two because that kind of gets in the way of fungal fortunes but in the mid game you can do some pretty crazy things with gibberling as well too like for one mana put this guy down maybe like lightning bloom into an innervate into an arbor up and this one mana dude can create an entire board for you i have seen a couple lists running goru the might tree and he's a really fun card if you have him and want to include him but he's definitely not as good but yeah i've been having so much fun with this new treant token druid deck and honestly it's probably going to be one of the better druid decks out there if you enjoy this deck let me know by leaving a like down below that really does help me out with the youtube algorithm and if you enjoy other cool off meta decks just like this then subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can get notified whenever i post the next creation and i do also stream all of these decks live monday through friday on twitch and the link for that is going to be down below in the description but for now let's hop into the gameplay stay funky Double overgrowth? Okay. Do we need double overgrowth? I don't think we need double overgrowth. I think one overgrowth is okay. Horizon North Share Cleric, yeah. Well, <laughs> the thing is, every time they give Priest a win condition, they take it away. Like, come on, stop it. <laughs> like Mind Blast, you know? And uh, I've, already, I've already said enough of it. I've already said my piece. Maybe we'll get a win condition in April. You never know. You know, maybe, maybe they're holding out until the new uh, rotation. I'll probably keep some of this mana cheating stuff. Yeah, let's keep some of this mana cheating stuff for the Soul of the Forest here. Then get like a really big, like maybe like low fly into like Soul of the Forest type stuff. So here, what is that combo? That's um, a nine mana combo. So we can do that on turn seven, which means we want to overgrowth on four. Right? So I actually kind of want to save the overgrowth here. We can do that next turn. They have an Ankard. Um, they're playing Athletic Studies, which means they're big warrior. All right, so not running Risky Skipper stuff. Have you tried John Bray's Dragon version of Token Druid? I have not. I have not. Okay, maybe I have to kill this dude now. Can we? I guess we could, right? We could, like, coin, innervates. I mean, wait. They don't. They, wait. How do they make use of the Vargoth? I'm just gonna ramp. Next turn, I can runic carvings for the rush and then coin out a Power of the Wild. Yeah, let's go that route. Um, they still can't even do anything with the Vargoth, so maybe I don't. Maybe I don't worry about that yet. Yeah, let's just stick to our game plan here. Uh, playing around a Brawl, I suppose. Okay. So next turn, we do get, um, what? Arbor up into Power of the Wilds. So that's plus three attack on everything. So that's like a Bloodlust. We actually have lethal next turn with just Arbor up plus uh, Power of the Wilds. Yeah, let's go that route. Um, we definitely want to, if we don't kill him next turn, we definitely want to kill the Vargoth going into seven. So that way they don't like pop off with commencement. Okay. They have another Blade Storm? I feel like the best pre are the ones that end up playing someone else's cards. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, because they don't, don't have their own win conditions, so they have to steal other win conditions. Wow. Double blade storm. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, well we have to kill this going into seven now. Dude, that was that was sick. 
Okay. All right, dude. I see you. I see you. Get some free card draw out of it, I suppose. Dude, that was nuts. Okay, so now they're going to commencement here. Hopefully they don't get like a Scrapyard Colossus. You try Mist Runner Shaman. I have not tried out Mist Runner Shaman. Actually, I did play briefly a deck on Friday uh, with Mist Runner. Uh, get some pretty good trades here, I suppose. Yeah, I was dribbling up. I think I want Soul of the Forest on one more dude, then a plus one plus one on one more dude. Like this here? Dude, I love Jibberling here. A, a lot of people don't like Jibberling in this deck because of Fungal Fortunes. Like, sure, you might, like, draw with Fungal Fortunes and discard it. But even if you do, it's Fungal Fortune is still an Arcane Intellect at that point. You know, three minute draw two cards. Even if you discard the uh, Jibberling. Shit, that was the one I did not want to see. But, I mean, in this case, like, one mana for all this stuff. How's that? How's that bad? Uh. Oh, yeah. Like this here. Yeah, we're going to waste the spell burst on this, but I mean, this is so much damage, I don't really care. <laughs> um, and then we do something like this. Yeah, we can get through this pretty easily. Probably burn this dude? Or this dude? Yeah, I guess something like this works. Dang, that was almost lethal too. Holy smokes. Yo, Noxie Way. Thanks for the thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. They need to make a shadow priest. I know, right? Like it's so flavorful. Like shadow priests are a big thing in WoW and yet we don't see it in Hearthstone. I agree. We used to have a shadow priest, but we don't anymore. Well, they already wasted both. All right, we have lethal, right? Yeah, this is lethal. Woo, got him. Calculated, calculated. I think we played that, uh, that game pretty well. Um, a Warlocka. Going first, go, Glowfly Swarm is going, uh, or is amazing going second, but going first, I want to look for some ramp, I think. I might even want to keep uh, Bloom, too. Going first? Yeah. Going first, though, is kind of a risk, but I think it's still worth it. And yo, Labar, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Like a deck with Goru? Right, yeah. I mean, you can do well with either deck. I think this is just a little bit better, though. You know, like, yeah, so, I mean, that's awesome that you're 21 and 6, though. That's That's awesome. But who knows, maybe you would have gone 22 and five without Goru, you know? You know, it's very misleading too. Like when the core of the deck is so strong, um, like any change feels like it's still just as good, you know? Um, it was kind of the similar problem, not problem, but similar idea. It's like when I made the LeBroom Paladin deck, like people were experimenting so much with LeBroom Paladin. They were running like Zephyrus and stuff in the deck and they were still doing really well with it. They're like, oh man, see, Zephyrus is the uber nuts in here. But it's like, no, the, the core of the deck is just so strong. It doesn't matter the two or three card difference. Like you're still going to do well with it, you know? Um, Let's see, we could do, oh dude, oh, oh dude. All right, you ready? You ready? Next turn, we're going to be popping off here. Next turn, we're popping off here. So next turn, we could do Gibberling, Bloom, Force of Nature, Aeroponics, Aeroponics. <laughs> and we get an entire board here. Oh my gosh, wait, the Soul of the Forest. Actually, I want to save Blooms for Soul of the Forest here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's uh, Studies and Bank the mana. Or we could just Wild Growth, I mean. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I guess that works. This is better. Okay, yeah, so next turn we get to pop off here. We're gonna go Jibberling stuff into Force of Nature stuff. Draw, draw, fill up our board, soul the forest. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I guess it should be drawing here. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, like, and that's why, like, Jibberling is so cool right there, because, like, normally we'd only be able to make, you know, what, three two threes. But now, look how many more minions we can have with the uh, Soul of the Forest. So that's that's why Jibberling is a lot better, because for one mana, you get to do so much more busted stuff. I mean, he's probably going to, like, what? School Spirits here, right? Hysteria. Oh, that's actually, okay, that's good, that's good. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely fine. Oof, okay. Um, let's just go ham here with these Power of the Wilds. So they can't uh, school spirits us. And now we just push face. For six mana, what can they do? Another Hysteria only clears two. Woo, all right. <laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> Uh, how, how do they deal with this? Even if they do clear the board, I get refill with the uh, runic carvings now. Another hysteria, okay. And do a dark skies? Okay, they have to clear two. Nice, we got him! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Jibberling is OP! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> See, without Jibberling, if uh, the Jibberlings were Goru, oh, that game would have gone a lot differently. Okay, I like the fungal fortunes. I like the overgrowth. I like, I like, I like. Song is fire, ayy. Yeah, always overgrowth, exactly, exactly. I, see, I, like, I, I was so concerned with like getting ahead on board first, but I guess with like runic carvings and lunar eclipse, it doesn't matter, right? Whoever has the most amount of mana, like that's what matters the most. You know, we had the bloom in hand, so technically we would have had the most amount of mana. Yeah. I I I, uh, I forgot that like there's a, actually a comeback mechanic in this deck. And I'm not used to that for Jude, you know. But that's alright. We're gonna go 100% win rate from now on. Play a deck of your choice, oh baby, oh baby. Oh, yes, I'd love to. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll play it after this uh, after this game. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Then we're gonna get some pretty good uh, like glow fly and like soul of the forest type stuff. Okay, that's fine. I don't need gibberlings. So we get to go a turn four overgrowth. We'll have seven mana. So then we could do Glowfly, um, Lightning Bloom into Soul of the Forest. That should be pretty impossible for them to deal with, right? And we actually get to go like Lunar Eclipse somewhere in there as well. Yep, overgrowth, overgrowth, overgrowth. Always overgrowth when you got it. We learned that. <laughs> and yeah, 96, thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. So we want to glow fly first before the lunar eclipse, right? So we get an extra 2-2. Two, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, if we top deck a spell, it doesn't really matter. I think this should work. I could even bloom out a hero power, but if they do clear, I think I want to follow that up with the runic carvings. So we'll chill on this bloom. 
Yeah, so if they want to clear, they'd have to have a Morgue plus Immolation or in hand. Oh, so yeah. of these six cards in hand, two of them would have to be Morgue plus Immolation Aura. Pretty unlikely, but definitely doable. Uh, if you have Immolation Aura, it's better to just attack face and then play it. Are they not? I beam? Oh, nice! Fell Screen Blast, okay. Well played, well played. I wonder if they have another one. They have another fell screen blast. I mean, if this is an OTK deck, how do they? Oh shit, we're at eight health. Oh fuck. <laughs> Wait, we're just dead. <laughs> Wait, what? We're just dead. Holy smokes, dude, that was so much damage. Oh my gosh, this is gonna hurt. All right, let's do this. We could actually um, make two dudes off of this and kind of be efficient with it. Oh gosh, oh gosh, this is, this is gonna hurt. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> okay, you know what? Honestly, I have to blew my hero power here. I, I still might be dead, but... Uh, <laughs> geez, <laughs> at least we killed their Ulganoth. If they have a Twin Slice, I'm dead. If they have a Relentless Pursuit, I'm dead. If they have a Skull, I'm dead. Oh my gosh, dude, that was actually s That was really clutched by them. That was really clutch. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. They've already used two uh, Felscreen Blast, two I-Beams. I think this is still lethal, right? Nice. For one mana, I don't think they can do four damage. Nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <gasps> Oh my gosh, dude! I'm gonna have a heart attack over here! <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, make sure to leave a like down below and also subscribe if you want to see more original off meta decks just like this. And check out this sweet video. You're gonna love it, I promise. See you there!